Hi guys, Wardrums here, and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the final event, Thin Ice. Thin Ice, or Hexagon 2.0, is in some ways very similar to its predecessor, while also being very different in other ways. The longer a round goes on, the more similar they become. For the first minute or two, there isn't really much to do. One strategy is to mimic the jumping technique from the regular hexagon in an attempt to prolong the game enough to the point where the game times out and multiple people can win. This is of course way more likely if the lobby has fewer players and if multiple people are trying to do the same strategy. If you don't feel like jumping around for 5 minutes, you can also try the running strat. Here your goal is to clear as many tiles as possible and you do it in the same way as you do on hexagon. The difference here is of course that you have to run multiple times over the same tiles in order to break them fully. The best way of causing the most havoc is by running in a straight line on top of this zigzag pattern between two rows of tiles. Instead of causing broad light damage, you can also try to cause more heavy localized damage. This is done by standing on or running in small circles around a corner where three tiles meet. Using this strategy will cause a lot of holes to appear in the entire platform, which will force all of the other players to be more careful with their platforming. This strategy is especially useful if you yourself is very good at jumping between platforms. A different starting strategy that I've come to like quite a bit is to try and make traps for people. You do this by removing all of the layers on one or two tiles next to each other, while making sure that at least some of the tiles next to the hole is two or three stack high. My best example of a trap like this working was from one of my last streams. I just want regular hexagon. <laughs> he thought I was AFK. That is the strat, boys. After some time, the platform will have thinned out quite a bit, and it's now time for you to prepare for the end game. Analyzing the platform for the correct strategy for the end game can be quite tricky, and I have by no means perfected this strategy either. So take this next bit with a grain of salt. When you get to this point of the match, you want to try and look around at both where the enemy players are and at the layout of the remaining platforms. In the example on screen, I noticed that most of the other players are on the other side of the platform, so even though the section where I'm at is very thin and mostly contain dark blue, almost destroyed tiles, I stay here and hope that the other players will try to nug each other out. As a rule of thumb, I try to find the section that looks like it's gonna last the second longest. The theory behind this is that most players will try to find the section that looks like it's gonna last the longest, but the kicker here is of course that most people will do this and then flock to that section, thinning it out even faster. Lastly, throughout the entire match, you want to be careful when jumping close to other players, as you can randomly get ragdolled and because of the spread out tiles, easily get eliminated. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Don't forget to comment down below which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. Also, if there was a section of the video you didn't quite understand or you'd just like me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wartrums and you have been you and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and a good life. Bye.